Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to go through the calculate function which helps you in performing calculation in BI. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to do three straightforward things. One is identify the sales for fruits. So I have my item type listed as fruits and I want to know the total sales for the particular category, which is fruits, which is 28,926. I want to populate that field over here okay and the se second thing is i want to know my sales for snacks in the year 2021 so i have an and condition wherein i want to know the sales for snacks and i want to know what is the value here for 2021 alone so if you look here i have the same as well snacks in 2021 is what i want to find out which is 37,027. that that is the value that i'm looking to populate here using the measure and the third thing is that i'm trying to find the sales for cereals and clothes so irrespective of which year it is i want to know the cereal the sales for cereal and clothes using a measure now this is where the or function comes into the play and we're going to learn how to create that as a measure in bi so let's get started with this tutorial the first thing that i'll be doing is since i will be creating quite a few measures about four measure four or five measures so i would like to have all of my measures uh, aligned in a particular table so to do that what i'm going to do is on the home tab uh, i'm going to click on enter data this is a bonus step that you are learning about the about handling the measures and then i'm going to call this as measures uh, new for example and then i'm going to say load so what happens is a new table gets created with this particular name and it has a dummy column with which has no details okay so we'll click on this and click on new measure so first thing that we will be doing is let us calculate a measure to get the sales amount okay so that i don't have to use a lengthy uh, dax formula every time i need to recall the sales amount so i'm going to say sales amount is equals to uh, calculate sum of a uh, sales price which is in my uh, sales table okay so this is my sales amount i'm going to calculate this and say okay so what happens is that a sales amount gets created over here and then i'm going to click on this let's see change this to card and see what happens so i have sorry let's change this to card so i have 9.29 million as our spend that is exactly what is reflecting over here okay and now let's create a new measure again and call this as uh, fruit sales fruit sales is equals to now how do you calculate the sales is by using the calculate function i'm going to use calculate okay and now since we've already created the sales amount as a measure i'm going to simply recall the sales amount measure that we created so that whenever we call this whatever calculation that we've used in this will get recalled okay and then i'm going to say comma so we're looking for fruits so it's asking us to filter the data here my item type from the sales table is equals to open double quotes here and enter fruits okay i'm gonna close the quote close the bracket and press enter and let's drag this particular uh, measure that we created into this particular table we now have got the value for fruits 28900 something which is exactly over here 28926 okay now fairly simple you've understood how to do this using the calculate function this was very straightforward Let's jump to the next one here where we have to use multiple filters. Uh, so let's see how to do that. I'm going to click on these ellipses again, click on new measure and I'm going to call this as sales for snacks 2021 is equals to, I'm going to do the same thing, calculate. I'm going to bring in the sales amount measure that we created. Okay comma it's asking us to enter the filter here my item type from the sales table is equals to snacks in the bracket in the quotes sorry comma you can enter comma here and enter your second argument so when you when you enter second argument or the second filter over here it is automatically going to consider that as an and function if you are aware in excel how this works basically bi is now going to use the and function and say bring me the sales amount for snacks and wherever the sale the fiscal year is 2021 okay so i'm gonna now say fiscal year 
oops, fiscal year is equals to 2021. So please note that I am not entering 2021 in the double quote since it's a number Power BI will accept that without entering into the uh, double quote. So I'm just going to close the bracket here and press enter. And now let's bring in the particular measure that we created over here. So you'll see it is 37,000 change, which is exactly what we have over here in this particular table. We've now got sales for snacks in the year 2021. Now the last one here is we need to identify the sales for cereal and clothes. Now we will have to use or function here instead of and like we used in this particular scenario. So let's go back here, click on ellipsis, click on new measure. Okay, I'm going to call this as uh, C and C sales. Okay, is equals to calculate. Everything here is going to remain the same until the condition where you mention comma filter here is going to be item type. Okay, is equals to the first filter over here, which is going to be serial. Okay. Now close the code. Now what happens is if you type in comma here and follow typing the second one again and say item type uh, is equals to uh, clothes, right? That is not going to work because like I told you, if, when you type in comma and enter the second argument, it considers that to be an and function and it is going to it is not going to return the results. Let's say if I type in uh, the values over here and call this as clothes, let's see what happens. I'm going to close the bracket here and press enter and let's bring in this particular uh, measure over here. You will see that we've created a blank. So how do we change this to uh, so that BI understands that we are looking for or we're looking for both the categories, serial and clothes. So let's go back to the measure over here. So instead of the comma that we entered over here, let me just get rid of this so that you will understand this better. So I hope you have understood till here until serials, right? And then we now have to tell BI that it needs to be a or condition to also give us the sales amount for clothes, okay? So what you have to do is you need to type in an operator, which is like single line. This key is just above the enter button in the Windows uh, keyboard. You need to enter this twice. This operator is considered as an OR operator in BI. Okay. And then I'm now I'm going to say item type. Item type from my sales table is equals to open double quotes and type in clothes. Close the quote, close the bracket and press enter. And now you'll see that we've got the value 627K, which is exactly what we have in the table over here. Now, we've now learned three different ways of using the calculate function to perform uh, calculation and also filter the records based on our requirement. Another bonus tip that I want to give is that we now created the measures table, right? Now, this is a generic table which we have. Let us change this to a measures only table. For that, what you need to do is you simply go here and get rid of the column one that we've created or it was created automatically when we created the table and press OK. So the moment you do that, your measures table will move automatically to the top. And this is now recorded as measures only table in Power BI. Right. So that's it, guys. In this particular tutorial, I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.